Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the ATI All-in-Wonder Radeon 8500 DV video card. This review is actually part two of a two-part video review on this product. In the last video, the part one of this two-part video review, I did go through the functionality, really, of the remote control. I'll just show you a few things here, like how the mouse works, as well as how you would display and get the TV to work. It's extremely simple. After all, this is a remote control. For instance, if you want, for instance, to watch a DVD or you want to activate the web browsers, it's right here at the very top. You can go ahead, for instance, I can press on the TV, and as you can see here, the TV program is being started. And also, of course, with this, you have a mouse movement. You can go ahead in here, as you can see, the cursor is moving around the screen as I am moving my fingers here on this part of the remote control. Now I can, for instance, go ahead here, bring down the drop-down menu, and then I can show you what's called a blended window. And what this does is it's a transparency. So if you're working with, for instance, web browsers, you can still see what's underneath it and still watch your favorite program. So this transparent technology for the TV certainly is extremely uh, functional because you don't have to tile the windows anymore. You can just make this either your whole desktop or maybe like I have right here, you can go ahead and mask it over whatever you're doing and you can, like I said, watch the programs, your movies, whatever you want to do so you don't miss anything while you're doing your work or while you're browsing the web. And also, of course, if you want to change the channel, you can go ahead and use the number pad here. Let's say I want to go from this channel to channel 58. You can see here it's very quick, channel 29, 28. So it is very, very quick and very fast, certainly when you're going through channels. Remote control right now, the receiver part of this is actually right underneath my desk, so it even works when the receiver is actually underneath a desk. This is yet another very cool TV feature on this 8500 dB video card. It's called the Guide Plus. And what this does is basically give you a very comprehensive guide of all the TV channels that are available in your area. And of course you can sort them by name, title, actor, show, genre. And so it, it's very interactive. Here first, when you're going ahead installing this, you'll need to enter your first name, your last name, your email address, as well as the country you live in, and either your postal code or your zip code, and you have a choice between a cable or antenna. Once you have downloaded the listings, the rest really is up to you. You can go ahead and look at what's playing now, what's playing in the morning, what's playing in the noon, what's playing at prime time, what's playing at late night. You can also create uh, logs. You can also go into and see the stations that are playing, the different stations that's available in your area. You can go through the titles, uh, 70 shows, 80 shows, in sync, 100 years, 24. So all the titles of the shows that are available in your area will be shown. You can go through actors. You can see what programs, movies are coming up dependent on your favorite actor or actress. You can go ahead and do a category. You can sort by children. You can sort by educational, French, health. You can search by movie, music. So you can really get an idea as to what's coming up. Of course, you can sort, sort by movie, action, adventure, comedy, drama, fantasy, horror, you can also go into the sports category. You can select different sports. If you're interested, let's say, in basketball, you can see what's coming up. Or maybe you're interested in racing, you can see what's coming up. Also, you could go in here and you can do searches. And you can also go in here, of course, and see what you have scheduled. Scheduling a program is very simply just go ahead and into the future, let's say I want to record a CMT hits. And all I would do is go ahead either to watch it, record it, or I could add it to a favorite channel. Very simply click on record. It will record that program for you when that program 
does come available at that time. Let's now have a look at the results in the 3D Mark 2001. I will be using the default settings that come with the demo version of 3D Mark 2001. And the final result in 3D Mark 2001 is 6,525. Let's now have a look at Quake 3 Arena. This is the Quake 3 Arena demo. The settings that I have it at are video mode is 1024 by 768. The color depth is at 32 bit. Full screen is on. Lighting is at light map. Geometric detail is on high. Texture detail is at maximum. The texture quality is at 32-bit, and the texture filter is at trilinear. As you can see here, at 1024 by 768, at pretty much maxed out settings, you're getting a result of 135 frames per second. Certainly some fantastic results in Quake 3 Arena. And one of my favorite games at present, a Medal of Honor Allied Assault. What I will be illustrating here is one of the very cool features that you will notice ATI immediately how curved and smooth all the surfaces become. Now I can illustrate this in a wireframe as well so you can really see it. So you can see here that there isn't as many triangles obviously in this. This is without the true form. With it enabled, you will notice that there is a tremendous amount of more triangles involved in the model and certainly you can see there that the top of the head is now very smooth and this of course is what the model looks like without the wire frame so a very good illustration here of this technology overall ATI has done one incredible job on this video card the TV side of things with this you've got transparent TV very 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 cool I love that feature also the TV guide is very comprehensive and of course you can record whatever you want to record movies TVs right to your hard drive also the gaming side of this card is very strong as well it is not as strong and it's not as fast as the Radeon 8500 card however it's still very capable when it comes to gaming as I've shown you in part two of this two-part series also, of course, no matter what you want to plug into this, whether it's audio, video, DV, S-video, you can go ahead and do it with that little handy in-out adapter that plugs right into the back uh, of this card. And there are so many other features that this card can do. It's just an overall all-in-wonder. In saying all that, I give this card a 9.5 out of 10. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back in a few days. I will have a brand new video review for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, be sure to check out the forums. Registration is free. You can go in there and find out more information about this product as well as other products, and you can leave your own suggestions and comments. Until the next time, take care.